This week on Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use a parameter to, to display data up to a selected month. So, what do I mean by that? I have all of these dates in my data set, but I only want to use a parameter to show this year's plus up to this month, not including any months after. But if I right click and create parameter, what's going to happen is it's going to give me every individual date that we have in our data set. We can create a custom date which looks at the month and then we can create a parameter which then gives me a minimum and a maximum. But again, this is going off our minimum range. We want this to be dynamic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a calculated field which just looks at the current year in months up to and including the current month. So let's just call this current months this year. So what we want to say is if year of order date equals year of today and we want to also say if the date trunk month is less than or equal to the date trunk month of today then give me back this particular field end. So I'm going to click OK and again it's going to give me a date field so I'm just going to change that to date time. I'm just going to option drag or right click and drag and add this to my view. I'm just going to select uh, months and then change it to discrete. So as you can see it's all null now up until my September value. I could also just have this up to 2020 dates so if I change this and I can just uh, remove this little bit at the end so two forward slashes comments that out so if I click OK it's going to bring back my 2020 dates and now if I right click on this create parameter this is just going to give me my this year's dates and this will be dynamic based on the current year that I'm in but when I say current value it's always going to show me the 1st of January I don't want this I want this to be dynamic and, and select the month that I'm in so September so what we can do is I'm just going to create that parameter anyway and I'm going to create a new calculated field and just call it this month and again we're just going to do the date trunk month of today that's all we need and I'm going to click OK as you can see it's just down here at the bottom again I'm just going to make that a date if I go back into my parameter edit parameter and then instead of where it says current value I'm going to change this to this month now watch what happens over in my right hand corner when I click OK it's going to change it to September because that's the current month that I'm in but I still have the rest of my list there for 2020 so that's an easy way to use a parameter to be able to only show 2020 dates or a specific year that's all for this week thank you